In this video I want to talk about the electrical system in the V1 Autopilot. I've now connected up my uh, unit with this uh, electrical plug here to a power supply and a button here which I will use to demonstrate it uh, later. There are basically two parts uh, of this electrical system. The first is the release mechanism for the gyroscope. The main gyroscope is now blocked by a pin inside a cup on the back of the gyroscope. You can just about see it there, uh, which holds the gyroscope in a fixed position during the launch process. The second part is the clock unit, uh, which is used to uh, steer the rocket to its uh, final heading. Um, I'm first going to show the release mechanism. Um, I'll zoom into it a little bit so you can see the pin there. Uh, I'm now going to push the button and you will see that the pin releases and now I can freely rotate the gyroscope. At the same time the uh, uh, electrical signal that, that uh, uh, released the gyroscope will start the clock. I've now set the clock. I've got the delay timer here on uh, 10 seconds and the uh, turning clockwork on 40 seconds. So now I want to explain what it actually does. If I now look at the uh, main gyroscope of the uh, autopilot, you will see to the left of it there are two uh, electrical coils. These are electromagnets which pull a little magnet either towards one of the coils, so upwards or downwards. And now I'm putting a little bit of force with my finger on this uh, little anchor and you will see the effect on the gyroscope. The gyroscope precesses left or right. This obviously turns the uh, rudder actuator which turns the rudder and which will make the V1 fly left or right. So as long as this clockwork is running it will give this input and you can choose whether this input is left or right. So for 30 seconds the uh, V1 will turn towards the left or the right. The system was calibrated so that one second corresponded to one degree uh, course change. So with a maximum time of 60 seconds on this timer you could steer the V1 60, up to 60 degrees to the left or to the right of its launch course. So here we go, I'm going to push start, one, two, three. And now you can see the delay timer is running down to zero. It's nearly there and it will start now the steering timer. There it goes. If I now zoom in on the uh, gyroscope, you will see it will have uh, moved a little bit of center. I now flick the switch on the clockwork from right to left. And you will see it's starting to move slightly to the other side. I flick it back again and the gyroscope slowly wanders over to the other side now. I can see this effect also on the rudder servo. So now it's on one side, I flick the switch and you can see it slowly pushes the rudder which steers the V1 on its new course. 